Hello everyone, it's Tuesday. I didn't film yesterday because I was so busy. We all know Mondays are super busy for me. Normally I try and film a little bit in between coming home from work, but I just didn't get a chance yesterday. I'm just gonna let the dogs out of the crate. Um, <laughs> so excuse me crouching on the floor. Um, so yes, it's Tuesday, I'm just home from work. I had some errands that I had to run, managed to get them done all in one go, so I'm very happy about that. Um, come in Archie. Good boy. Um, yeah, I had to fill in a repeat prescription at the doctor's and I had to post some parcels. I got all of that done in one go, which makes me very happy. Uh, now I'm home. I was gonna take the dogs out, but they are, um, there are black clouds outside. And yesterday we had torrential rain and we are forecast rain again today. So even though we've had some like sunny intervals, I'm just not sure I wanna go out right now. I mean, the sky is looking like that. So I, I'm just not sure I wanna go out and get caught in the rain. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get a walk in later instead. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. What shall I do? Hi guys, um, I've had some lunch and now I've brought all of my journaling stuff downstairs. Archie always has to come and say hi. Oh, <laughs> as soon as I start filming, don't you? Um, I've bought all of my creative journaling stuff downstairs except my paints. I'm not going to paint down here because I did some painting first thing this morning at 6am when I got up <laughs> um, and I'm going to complete those journaling pages now. I should be doing uni work but I've been taking part in this, it's kind of like a course I guess, um, called March Magic which was um, organised by my friend Geraldine in her group Dream Create Journal. I will leave the link to the group below and a link to her blog. Um, I'm absolutely loving the course, even though this video will probably go up like mid-March, it's never too late to join. <laughs> oh, gee. It's never too late to join, it's never too late to start. Um, the idea is that it's just to get you thinking, it's all about positive thinking, achieving your dreams, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, it really makes you think, and you get a journal prompt every day, and it's, it's like a thinking point. Um, like a jumping off point for you. I thought I would show you just a little bit of this project because I'm working on it right now um, because these pages obviously don't really have anything on them yet. The album that I'm using, um, well the insert that I'm using for this project is um, one that came with a traveller's notebook that my friend got me for Christmas um, and it only has 25 pages so obviously March has 31 days and um, some of the pages are going to have to be tip-ins. So day five was gratitude and you were supposed to journal about something you were grateful for. So anyway that is on a tip-in and then day six prompt is believe. So I'm going to journal um, on this page and I might even stick some photos on this side, I'm not sure. Um, but part of the prompt for gratitude was that every day from now on we have to include something in our journaling for the day that we are grateful for so I also need to find somewhere on here where I will journal what I'm grateful for which I'm going to do on this little um, tag and I'll include it in my spread. Good morning it is Wednesday, halfway through the week already, very exciting. Um, I set up a Patreon last night, scary. <laughs> so for those of you, I did um, add a little clip into the end of the last weekly vlog, so you may have seen it there, but for those of you who don't know, Patreon is a place where creators can make a stable income from um, creating and working um it's very difficult to make a living on youtube anymore and um the little bit of money i did used to get from my videos um is now few and far between and it's really unreliable so um i've set up a patreon my current tiers are between two dollars and eight dollars and depending on which one you subscribe to you get different levels of exclusive content and rewards every month. Um, I've already got a couple of patrons signed up, which is really exciting. Um, if you subscribe, subscribe, 
sign up in March, then April will be the first month that your card is charged and I will start making that exclusive content for you. So I've got a couple of weeks to get it all sorted and I'm really excited and I hope that you guys are too because it means you can get extra content for a very small price and it helps me to improve my setup, improve my equipment and just make things a bit more sustainable. I only work part time and YouTube is just my hobby. I don't have the time that a lot of other YouTubers have have because I work out of the home as well and I'm studying for a master's so getting a little bit of income every month is a really good way for me to be able to keep making videos and yeah I'm excited the link to my patreon is in the description of this video please do have a look even if you don't want to sign up that's absolutely fine um I would just love it if you'd go and check out my profile um so yeah and thank you so much to those of you who have already signed up I'm so excited so now that I'm feeling a little bit calmer, I can tell you what just happened on my way home from work. Um, an elderly man fell in the road and hit his head and couldn't get back up. And um, everyone just drove past him. <laughs> I, I just can't. But everyone just drove past him. So obviously when I reached him, I stopped because obviously, obviously you're going to stop if you see an elderly person laying in the road. I don't understand why no one else stopped, but they didn't anyway. Um, so I stopped, sorry I can hear the kettle starting to boil, um, I stopped and um, I tried to get him up but I couldn't because he told me he was nearly 93 and he has really bad legs so he was walking with a trolley and I think that's what sent him off balance, the trolley's caught something and because he's leaning really heavily on it he fell. Um, but yeah so I couldn't get him up because he couldn't put weight properly on his legs. So I had to go out and stand in the traffic to get someone else to stop because everyone was just driving around us and this lady pulled over and thankfully she was his neighbour so she knows him and he knew her and um, we got him up together and then she's taken him home and she's going to make sure his head's okay and everything because he did bump his head and I, I, like, I rang my mum afterwards in tears because I just couldn't believe no one stopped and it's just made me so mad, like I don't understand. But anyway, he's home, he's safe, and I'm just really glad I was there. <laughs> Good morning, I feel like I haven't even filmed out of the house at all this week. I don't actually think I have. Um, so I'm sorry about that for being boring, but you know. I haven't even really been out with the dogs this week. I've been feeling so lethargic, I just feel terrible. And I, <laughs> I just don't know why, I'm like not sleeping. I just don't feel good at all um, and it's not fun like even my skin I've got eczema all under my eyes again so my makeup is looking horrible it's just I don't know I'm just really stressed but anyway um, it's Thursday which is nice because it means it's nearly the weekend and crafts begins today and I'm excited because I'm actually going to crafts on Sunday um, yeah, so that's really exciting. We've been invited by Poppy's Picnic, the raw dog food brand. I actually feed the dogs Poppy's Picnic, so I'm really thankful to have been invited by them. Um, and I can take Winnie with me now because they've given me a dog pass. It's really not Archie's thing. He hates indoor events because it's just too busy for him. He can't stand crowds and he refuses to walk and I can't carry both of them. So um, he's going to have a day with my mum. Um, it's also Mother's Day on Sunday, so I feel really bad about going to Crufts that day, but it's the sort of opportunity I can't really pass up. And um, my, I spoke to my mum about it, and she was like, no, you need to go. Um, so I'm going to be seeing her first thing in the morning anyway, because I'm going to take Archie round there to her house, but I need to get her some flowers or something. We're on a little stroll. I've put some lunch in the oven for myself. So when we get back, my lunch will be ready. So I have 40% off in the Etsy shop at the moment because I'm trying to raise the money for my um, train ticket to Crufts. It's £50 which is a lot of money for me to just spend on a train ticket. So yeah I've got a 40% off sale in the shop because we've got lots of old stock. Here's all my bows and bandanas. Um, that needs shifting anyway so that we can start filling it with the newer stock. For example this is part of our spring collection. One of Winnie's hairs is on it because I tested it on her earlier. This is part of our spring collection, as is this one. And this one. 
cute, huh? And a lot of them are from um, other parts of the year, like this one was the last Halloween bow I had in stock, and then this was um, one of the last Christmas ones, along with this gingerbread man I think I've only got like one or two Christmas bows left um but all of this is going to one lucky dog um his or her owner I'm presuming it may be a boy and a girl has ordered 10 bows and a valentine's bandana <laughs> it's now half three and I have been working through this afternoon's to-do lists um but the post arrived earlier and it's this gorgeous Yes, it's another Neodori, okay? So I'm totally addicted to them. If you're in the UK Planner Addicts group, you'll know that I got my Saddle Brown one, totally fell in love with it and decided I needed one for every season. I'm trying to show you the colour accurately, but it's kind of like a coral pink, salmon pink. I bought this, uh, somebody was selling it in the group. I absolutely love it. Again, it's a B6. It has the reinforced spine and it has white elastic, but I believe... It is exactly the same inside, yep, as the ones I already have. The elastics seem to be really baggy too, so I'm going to have a fiddle around with it. See if I can get it sorted out, but love it. But yeah, so I have loaded the dishwasher, so when it's finished I need to empty it. I've cleaned the kitchen, I've packed up Etsy orders. I need to take photos of some stuff I'm de-stashing for UK Planner Addicts. I need to do a voiceover of a video. I've walked the dogs. I need to start my essay reading, I need to write my to buy list for crafts and I need to promote my Etsy sale. Everything else I've done. <laughs> guys um excuse how i look right now i'll probably put this in black and white um so i've had a really lovely lazy slow day it's one o'clock now and the last couple of every time every time <laughs> the last couple of hours i've spent um getting all my uni work done for monday i have an essay that i need to start working on um because i have to do a presentation on my research in two weeks and I have not done that yet, so I really need to start doing that, but I'm just not feeling it today. So I got all of my work done for Monday, which is great because it means I don't have to worry about it. And um, sorted out some of the dog's stuff, stopped and had some lunch. And now I have worn myself out with trying to read these journal articles. So I've got it all done, but my brain is like frazzled now, so I'm going... <laughs> So I'm going to go and blow dry my hair and straighten it. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh. I love him. So I have kind of done my hair, it's really not looking great, I let it dry naturally for way too long. And I've put a bit of concealer on and filled in my eyebrows a bit so I don't look completely terrible. Because um, I'm off out to get some petrol for my car and I really fancy pizza. I haven't had pizza this week so I'm going to go and buy a pizza from the garage. Um, I cannot explain to you how stressed I am about tomorrow now and it's really rubbish because it's kind of taken some of the fun so out of it. I filmed this massive long stressed out three minute rant about tomorrow and I've decided not to include it because it's not necessary. <laughs> Look at my little parrot over there. Achi! Hey baby! <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> um, 
yeah basically i was meant to get the train the trains are not going to work out the prices have gone up to like 85 pounds and any train after that train um will not get me there in time it will get me there at like lunchtime. it's a three hour train with um two changes and i just don't want to do it especially not for 85 pounds my parents don't want me to drive they want me to get the train i can't get the train I want to drive, but I'm also really scared to drive. I need to prepay my parking. I am stressed. But anyway, I've got my pizza, it's in the oven. I've filled up my car with petrol. I'm about to pack my bag for tomorrow and I'm just gonna try and be excited about it. What a sad puppy on our hands. Winnie, are you so sad? No, you can't climb out. She's having her pre-Crofts bath, aren't you? We're going to Crofts tomorrow so you gotta look pretty. Yes, you do. Good morning. It's Sunday morning. It is about quarter to seven and we are about to leave. Archie's going to Nanny and Grandad's house. <laughs> Winnie's coming to Crofts with me. She doesn't seem very happy about it. I'm very excited. Let's go. Right, we are off, Winnie. We're off. Are you ready to rock it at Crofts? Are you? Are you ready, girl? We made it, Winnie. We made it. So smaller than Tyler, there is Mini. She looks so cute. Ordered myself a little pizza to round off the day. Oops. Hi guys. So I'm talking quietly because it is actually five to six in the morning um, the next day, but I'm gonna pop this on the end of the video. I've woken up super early and I wanted to show you what I got from Crofts. So looking at it here, I actually didn't buy very much at all. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you anyway. So the first thing I got is this detangling and dog grooming brush um, called the Pet Teaser and it's for light shedding, fiery and uh, wiry sorry, and fine haired dogs. So this is going to be perfect for Archie. He doesn't really shed because he's a Yorkie and he's got really fine hair. So I'm going to give that a go. I use a tangle treat. I can't talk, it's too early. I use a tangle teaser on my own hair so I think it's going to be good. Chuck it very kindly gave us a free frisbee for Archie to try in exchange for a video or a photo. I didn't actually tell them about our Instagram account or anything. He recognised Winnie and he asked if she would like um, some toys to try out and obviously she's got no teeth and she doesn't really play anyway but I told him about Archie and he gave us this cute frisbee. This bandana is a cooling bandana and it came from my friends over at Dog Snug. It's got this cool gold bit on the back. Um, and you pop it in water, uh, wring it out, and then put it on your dog and it keeps them cool. And they gave me this to try out. So again, I didn't buy this. Um, they're just very kind over there and they love Winnie. So they gave me this to try out and post a few photos of. And they're also custom making her a harness for me to post about as well. This came from the clearance basket of dog robes. So my mum asked me to get some dog robes for Maggie and Mabel. Um, and when I was there, they had this in the clearance box. So Jamie took one and I took the other one. And I think it'll either fit Winnie or Archie. I'm going to try it on them. It might be a bit too long for Winnie. Um, but I wanted to give dog robes a try. Then I got two new cheese chews for Archie because they're his absolute favourite. And they are the Yakers dog chew. And then I got another drying coat because I love them so much. This is from Rough and Tumble and um, they recognised Winnie so they very kindly gave me a good deal on this. This is not the 
dachshund size it's an extra small but we tried it on her and it fit her pretty well it's a bit long so Archie may end up wearing this more often than Winnie but it will fit him as well um so yeah it's their limited edition crafts special it's yellow with navy and yellow is definitely Winnie's colour so I had to get one um but yeah so that was really nice and then the last thing I bought was this really lovely collar in Liberty Fabric for Winnie which was from the Spotted Dog Company she really didn't need another collar um, and it's a bit stiff actually now that I feel it I probably shouldn't have bought it but um, yeah that was everything that I bought or I got given <laughs> It was a great day um but yeah my voice is going <laughs> so i will leave this here see you next week guys i will um i just remembered i'll pop in some photos of the stuff that i got for maggie and mabel because it was really nice and they looked really cute okay now i'm going bye guys <laughs>exhausted <laughs> I'm absolutely exhausted after yesterday but um, I'm off to work and I just wanted to quickly hop on and say hi this morning um, I'm only doing a half day today rather than my normal full day because um, I'm going on the school trip with them all day on Wednesday so instead of claiming overtime I'm just going to listen when my body's telling me no you need to rest <laughs> and I'm just gonna swap my days around so yeah I'm only until 12 today which is nice and just like that I'm home already it is um, just gone 12 I'm home from work I've popped some lunch in the oven um, I wanted to take the dogs out but it's torrential rain outside so we're gonna wait around for a bit and see if the rain stops because obviously Archie didn't get a walk yesterday at least I don't think he did my dad did say he was planning on taking all of the dogs out but I'm not sure if they went or not um, but anyway, I've put some lunch in because I'm hoping if I have a proper like cooked lunch, it might wake me up a bit. And I think I'm going to do some painting to catch up with March Magic. And then I'm going to um, have a look at some essay reading. I've done all of my reading for today's lecture, but I have lots of essay reading to be getting on with. So that's my plan. Whilst my lunch is cooking though, I need to clear up this. It's a mess in this house today. So I ended up sitting at home till like half four and then being like, what am I doing? I still have to go and buy cake and um, then like get all the way to uni because it's like a 40 minute drive if the traffic is bad. Um, 
and my lecture starts at six so I was like it's half past four I need to go because I need to go to Morrison's I've got a few bits to pick up I still forgot like the main thing I went in there for I got the cakes but I forgot to get butter we've run out of butter so I might have to text Will and ask him to get some on the way home um but yeah anyway so I ended up sitting around till half past four rushed to Morrison's was worried I was going to get stuck in all of the rush hour traffic on the way here nothing it was completely clear which is great but it also means I'm now here 45 minutes early hi guys so I don't think I've spoken to you yet today it's Tuesday thought I'd give you just a little insight to how my day is going although actually it's it's really not so bad now um I've managed to sort a few things out but basically I'm still shattered but I don't want to like keep going on about that but um I'm definitely thinking of ringing the hospital because I don't feel well I know I'm heading for a relapse with my Crohn's I'm just not feeling good at all I'm exhausted everything feels like such an effort at the moment I had a prescription to pick up after work um, I had to go to the post office Archie had to go to the groomers um, and basically I went to the doctors to pick up my prescription and the chemist has closed it's not there anymore so instead of actually getting my prescription my items I ended up with just the slip of paper which I then had to take to a chemist but I couldn't do it right then because all of the chemists are like across town and um, I had to get home to get Archie to go to the groomers because the groomers is now in a different town it's in the next town over so um, I ran home shoveled some pasta down me um got the dogs in the car dropped archie at the groomers and then um i just off the on the off chance i thought i would google um if there are any chemists nearby because i've got winnie with me so i can't go into like a supermarket or anything and i didn't want to leave her in the car but just like on the off chance um like thankfully there was this chemist that's only five minutes away from the groomers and it has a tiny little car park right outside the window so I've just gone in and managed to get my prescription on top of that once I get home I um have to clean the house top to bottom because we've got someone coming to view it at half six so I just like I'm just so done. I was thinking to myself earlier the last couple of weeks have been absolutely nuts. I just haven't had a break and like this week is still crazy with appointments and loads of things going on so I'm hoping that next week will be quieter as of right now the only thing I've got penciled in for next week is the Dachshund cafe on the 25th other than that I'm free I think so I'm just really sort of holding out for a quieter week and then once that week is over it'll only be one week left till the Easter holidays so how handsome you are I put a little bandana on him he's looking cute but do you know what? He's not cute because he wouldn't let Deb do his nails. And when I tried to hold him so that she could do his nails, he absolutely savaged us both. He absolutely savaged us both. He proper tried to bite me. He never does that. And he was, But he was obviously really scared, like he was proper squealing. So I don't know what's happened <laughs> between now and the last time he went to the groomers. But... Apparently he's scared of having his nails clipped now, so that's great, isn't it? You savage. Hi, so I'm looking a little bit windswept because I am a little bit windswept. I've just got back from the school trip that I was on today and it went much better than expected. Um, there was far less walking than expected, so I managed it okay. I know I was a little bit worried um, that my joints, my knees especially, were going to give out. I can't remember if I mentioned that to you or not. But because I've been feeling a bit poorly with my Crohn's, my joints have been playing up. I was worried I wouldn't be able to walk very far. Long story short, thankfully it was fine. Anyway, I'm home and I got some stuff in the post that I wanted to show you. It's from Doxy Watches and um, it's a beautiful watch, if I can actually get it out. It's a beautiful watch that I've been sent for free. I can't get it out with one hand. Yeah, it's a beautiful watch that I've been sent to photograph on Winnie's account. This is the Mini Ella and it has um, a tan strap with a red, like, keep. It's red on the inside and then it has, like, the rose gold face with the little Daxi on it. So that's super cute. That's something to photograph this weekend. 
Good morning everyone, it is Friday. I had a day off filming yesterday because I'm just, I just needed a break. Um, I had a lovely afternoon, it was my first afternoon in weeks where I haven't had to be anywhere, we haven't had a house viewing, um, so nobody's been coming here, um, and I could just relax. So I just read my book all afternoon, I did some painting, I finished my book, um, yeah, and I just chilled, um, and today is Archie's birthday, Archie is two today, which means in two months we'll have had him for two years, which is just crazy, I can't believe how quickly the time has gone, but um, we're actually forecast snow <laughs> again this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, so I'm hoping that I can get the dogs out on a really nice walk this afternoon to celebrate Archie's birthday, and he has a birthday cake and everything coming, um, but I also have a house viewing in the middle of this afternoon, so I'm going to come home from work, tidy the house and sort all that out, have the house viewing, and then we'll be able to celebrate Archie's birthday properly. So, yay. Hello, it is now about half past two, or it's coming up to half two anyway. Um, I'm home from work, today's house viewing is done, they've just left, and it's a lovely sunny day, and we can finally celebrate Archie's birthday. So I'm just packing up our stuff and I'm going to go and pick up his cake from the post office and yeah then we're going to go over to my mum's and take some photos and all of the dogs can share the snowing again what do you see down there can you open the door for him i'm holding winnie what is it yay your favorite you want winnie to go down okay Good Archie. Your friend the snow is back. I'm standing in the rabbit shed, feeding and watering them, and I'm feeling like I've time travelled back two weeks <laughs> to when it snowed last time. And it's still going strong as you can see. So lots of people ask if they can see the rabbits on a regular basis and I normally say no because I find that there's a lot of judgment from um, bunny owners and I know that we're all super passionate about rabbit welfare but when you show um, any type of small pet I find that you get a lot of abusive comments if somebody thinks you're doing even the slightest thing wrong. Um, so I had the bunnies out in the snow and they all really enjoyed it except Nala so there's no video of her she didn't want to come out the shed which is fine but um, I just wanted to say they are outdoor rabbits they're totally used to the temperatures um, they were outside when we had all of the snow a couple of weeks ago and they were absolutely fine they've got lovely thick winter coats and they really are used to being outside so please don't think I'm being horrible by letting them out in the snow they really absolutely loved it um, and I just wanted to include this footage because I know that lots of you do miss seeing the rabbits um, so I thought it 
it might be nice for you to see their little faces um, in this brief little clip. Hopefully once we move and I can sort out their setup and get them all bonded together and everything, um, you'll be able to see more of the bunnies. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this little clip of them all in the snow.